Hi everyone, today I will show you one API called proxy call API using which you can uh, you know get information like you know someone LinkedIn profile in a very structured in format for example their name their experiences education their summary everything similarly you can also get i think uh, you can get you know even the company data not only just the personal data so i have used this this particular uh, you know api to get the linkedin uh, profile and i will tell you what is the typical use cases so for example uh, this proxy call api uh, this kind of data right the company level data or individual personal uh, level data or their professional information is used um, for the let's say building data driven application like a lead generation or a prospecting kind of thing in a marketing one of the typical use case you can think of let's say we know that the models like gpt3 can write the personalized email so while writing the personalized email message linkedin invitation if you can programmatically fetch that person's let's say occupation experience summary all this information then we can write more personalized email so that is one of the typical typical use case what we have so as I told you, this the demo actually I'm going to show you is actually related to the LinkedIn, getting the LinkedIn profile uh, data. So uh, what you need to do, first of all, you need to sign up or uh, register uh, here. And once you sign up or a register, I think, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you will end up in this uh, call proxy called dashboard where you can, uh, you know, generate a API key or you will get some default API key with some kind of a credit like I got this 10 credits. So you can definitely try freely because you, I think, make a 10 request. So we're going to do that particular thing. And you know, what else? Uh, yeah, you can also look at the API, which all that particular thing in a Python. I just copied that same, uh, you know, uh, code here to, to show you the demo. That's what, so what does this particular thing? So we need a request library because we want to make an API request. And uh, this is an API endpoint, again, copied from that same code snippet. This is the LinkedIn profile that we want to get data from. So this is my profile name. Here is my LinkedIn profile. I just copied, you know, my URL. And uh, again, we need to uh, pass our API key inside the headers. And finally, you make a request. And in the parameters, we have given currently only one parameter, which is the LinkedIn profile. But you can do uh, the, you can pass other information also, for example, in the parameters, you can specify whether you want to include the, uh, the person's skills section or not. Do you want to include the person's email, right? So maybe, you know, we can say that, hey, we want to include, let's say, skills also because by default, they won't be including. So let me add here that, you know, we want skill section also. So let me fire this request. Let's, let's, let's see. So I have made a request. Let's get the JSON data from the, uh, you know, response. And this is what we where, you know, uh, profile looks like. So this is actually my profile data, all these things. So maybe we will look at each section separately. This is hard to see. So let me clear this output. And the first thing we will see, as we saw, it is actually a dictionary. So first of all, let's see what all data we got. So we will look at all the keys. And this is a, you know, API documentation, which I have opened here already. There also you can check what response we can get. So you could see, uh, the first thing will be a public identifier, which is nothing but just this thing, this URL, uh, okay? And what else is the next thing? You can get the profile pic URL in the response. You can get the person name, their occupation, headline, summary section, everything. So let's look at this. Thing. So we can see we got some full name, maybe experiences, education, all these things. So let's look at the full name, uh, what we got from the API response for my profile, which is this Pradeep Nichite. And we can see that uh, this is the uh, my name. And what else? Let's look at what occupation thing they got. So occupation related thing, freelance data scientist at Upwork. So let me see what exactly they picked. Okay, so they picked occupation as the latest experience mentioned, the title or the heading of the latest experience. That is what this thing, right? Then let's look at the headline. This should be our LinkedIn headline. Okay, this is the, so this is very important. If you want to write programmatically email to someone, what they do or what they you know uh, put their linkedin headline is very important you can give this information to the nlp natural language processing libraries or models like gpt3 can generate some personalized message for them what else we have we have summary section like let's let's look at the summary section what we got so this is my summary section and this is my headline let's confirm it right so again you could say this is the summary section that we just printed and it is correct, right? They are able to scrap it really good way, uh, that particular thing. 
again let's look at the headline section this is what i put it into the headline and uh, what we got yeah we almost got the same thing so this way as i told you you can get the structured information let's look at the experiences again experiences will be array because you could have multiple experiences right so let's look at any particular experience they will be sorted by recent you know the the zeroth record will be the recent one so i'm looking at you know the third record which is it index 2 which is my let's say the oracle experience where i know i was the data scientist and this is the experience so let's look at my profile so the first two will be maybe this is the zeroth experience this is the first and this one is the second index experience so you could see this is the description this is the title and what we got yes this is the title this is the description we can also get the company uh, linkedin url and the logo of the company when i started when i ended all this information you can leverage right similarly just like an experience we can also get the education education will also be a array because you could have a multiple colleges and all these things right so let's look at which one is the recent one so in my case recent will be my uh, IIIT Bangalore mtech section so let's look at the yeah so the recent one is actually the my mtech uh, part from the uh, IIIT Bangalore and that's what uh, we we got here similarly as i told you we can also get the uh, profile data which is skills so these are all the skills i have mentioned in my profile so you can even create programmatically you know maybe uh, if you if you can build a recruitment solution right whether you want to target a people having particular skills having work on you know uh, certain companies or you know maybe you, you can look at the description of their experience and then find the most matching using let's say you can use something like sentence embedding and find the most you know uh, matching candidate for your job description so you there is a uh, you know lot of potential once you get such a structured information you can build the recruitment solution marketing prospecting all kind of uh, solution using this kind of api so i hope you found this video useful because this is something i have used it already in a multiple you know uh, my freelance project so that's what i'm uh, you know showing you here so again if you like the video uh, let me know into the comment and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe thank you